Are you planning to be a digital marketer this year? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the five things which I wish somebody would have told me when I was starting my career in digital marketing. So stay tuned till the end of the video. This video is going to be super useful. Hello and welcome. My name is Priyank Jhori and this is your digital marketing locker room. If you are a digital marketer who is trying to learn, find a job or grow your career, then this channel is for you. So make sure that you hit on the subscribe button and ring the bell notification so that every time I upload a video, you are the first one to get to know about it. Now let's dive into the topic of this video. You already know that digital marketing is one of the most in demand jobs in the world right now. In fact, LinkedIn made a research and they considered it in the top 20 jobs for the whole world. Now let's get started with the advice I wish somebody would have given it to me when I was starting my career. So here it goes. Advice number one, courses and training institutes are not enough. When I say not enough, that means they are first of all not going to guarantee any jobs for you that uh, you'll pass out from this institute or this course and you'll be able to find a job. That's number one. Number two is that the courses only teach you from the top. When I say from the top, that means you're going to know what SEO is, how to do an SEO, but you will never become a master in SEO if you have not taken any external knowledge. When I'm saying external knowledge, these could be coming from the blogs. These could be coming from other YouTube videos. These could be coming by following people or companies who do SEO really well. Courses, they are just a entry point. They are not setting your career. So choose your courses and institutes wisely. In fact, I created a video regarding digital marketing institutes. You can find it up here. So keep it on a watch later list. Advice number two, keep finding ways to stay ahead of the curve. Now, when I say stay ahead of the curve, that means you need to be doing something extra in order to stand out. Why there's a requirement of standing out? The reason why standing out is very much required in digital marketing is because everybody is hopping over to a digital marketing career these days. Okay. The reasons behind that are many because first of all, it's a very fruitful career and then you could be from any discipline and you can switch over to digital marketing very easily. So because of these reasons, it's getting a little overcrowded. Now, what do you have to do is that you have to make sure that you have done something extra. Now, this extra could be anything. Okay, this could be your freelance projects, which you took up, or this could be your own website, which you created and you ranked on the SEO for, or you have created a page on Facebook or on Instagram or anywhere else, and you have grown it substantial to a certain level. Now that is how you stand out. Standing out from the crowd is very, very important when it comes to digital marketing. Advice number three, find your entry point. Now, when I say entry point, that means either you could be starting your career with social media marketing or you could be starting your career with SEO or you could be starting your career with content marketing. It could be any one of these. A lot of companies are not looking at a digital marketer to hire, right? They are finding one particular speciality. They might be finding SEO guy or they might be finding a social media guy or they might be finding somebody who could market their content, which is a content marketing guy. You need to assess your strengths and then choose which one of the disciplines you're going to be better at when you're starting your career. If you are analytical in nature, you will know you know numbers well, then you could go on to the SEO side of the things. But if you are a person who writes a lot or has a flair of writing, then you could go to the content marketing. Finding the entry point of your career is very very important because this is how your base is going to get defined now you need to make sure that you know enough to sustain in that particular base i did not had an entry point into the digital marketing i got a marketing job and then realized okay there is something which is known as digital marketing so i started learning over youtube advice number four know your real worth and the reason why i'm saying to know your own real worth is because the digital marketing industry is getting cramped. It's getting overcrowded by people, right? And there is always 
one or the other company who's trying to make sure that you if even if you're a superior person you come to the pay package of a person who is not as good as you now if you know your worth then you can use that and then you can answer in the interviews that okay this is what my worth is this is how valuable i am going to be to the organization because i know this 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 and i have done that 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 right so you should know your real worth because since it is getting overcrowded there's going to be a lot of salary and negotiation happening during your interviews so if you know your real worth you'll get your money's worth advice number five and probably the most important advice is to work on your own personality when i say work on personality that means the way you communicate to people it's it could be communication skill it could be persuasion skill it could be anything consider it this way you are a product which you have been with for like 24 years 25 years something like that right and if you cannot market yourself if you cannot put your personality through then your career becomes a little shorter when i say it becomes shorter that means you would not be able to reach to the heights of the career where digital marketing executives at this particular point are let's say five years down the line or 10 years down the line you become a vp of digital marketing somewhere you need to have a personality where people are going to follow you where the people are going to be listening to you apart from this the personality also comes very handy when you're doing any sort of a personal branding as well because in order to grow your career you need to be really well versed with personal branding as well so these were the five points which i wanted to give it to you because i literally wanted this sort of an advice when i was starting my career if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and like the video if you have reached till this point of the video, I'm assuming you found it useful. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and press the bell notification so that every time I come up with a new video, you get to know about it. Meanwhile, stay safe, stay home and best of luck.